Hello everybody, welcome to Ian's Bricks. My name is Ian. So today I'd like to talk about retiring sets for 2024. Uh, so obviously every year LEGO produces a whole load of new LEGO sets uh, and then at the end of every year, most at the end of every year, uh, those LEGO sets will stop being uh, produced uh, and those sets will retire. Uh, and of, of course it's an important list to sort of know about because whether you're buying for yourself to build these sets, whether you like these sets and you may be saving up for them, uh, or you uh, buy LEGO to sell on at a later date, for investment like I do sometimes as well. Uh, obviously it's an important uh, thing to know what sets are retiring so you know which sets to buy. Uh, so uh, there are obviously hundreds of sets that will be retiring uh, at the end of uh, 2024. Uh, the fantastic people at Brick Fanatics have done their um, annual or monthly list of sets that are going to be retiring uh, and I'd like to first of all just concentrate on the uh, Lego Ideas sets uh, that are going to be retiring or potentially going to be retiring retiring at the end of 2024. Lego Ideas is probably one of my favourite themes within Lego. I think just because of the variety of the different styles, uh, types of sets that they do, uh, there's always sort of something to appeal in there. And uh, we've actually got a list at the moment of uh, eight sets that potentially could be retiring at the end of 2024. Now, I know January is very, very early to be talking about retiring Lego sets. Um, however, uh, again, it's just sort of, this, this, this list is out there now so I wanted to sort of let everybody know give them an idea of the sets that are going to be retiring so I'm going to go through the list I'm going to start from the uh, oldest sets uh, to the newest sets. so the first uh, set on the list is set number 21318 and it's the uh, treehouse set uh, this is a set uh, that was released in August of 2019 so this will have been on shelves for over five years which is quite a long time uh, the set has 3036 pieces so it's a big set and at the moment in the UK that retails at £214.99 in the USA and uh, in Europe uh, that is £249.99 in US dollars and euros respectively. Uh, so this is quite a big set. Uh, this is a set that has been on the retirement list a number of times over the years. I think this was probably first on the retirement list probably back in 2021 and it didn't retire. Um, so um, I'd like to think now with over five years on the shelves I think this is probably now time that this set will go. Again there's no guarantees that these sets will definitely retire. Uh, that's down to Lego and whether they decide the set is still worth manufacturing or whether, whether it's going to end its run. So you've always got to bear that in mind. Um, but uh, yeah, this is a nice set. This is a big set. I think the downside of this particular set, it's been on shelves for many, many years. A lot of people will have already got this set, but it is a very nice set. And actually the price per, uh, piece per price ratio is quite good on this set. You get a lot of pieces. Uh, this particular set comes with with, uh, interchangeable leaves so you can have autumn style or summer style with green leaves on so it's a really nice set it isn't something that I've actually built myself which is uh, slightly disappointing I'd love to build it uh, but I do have a couple that I bought a while ago um, so I, I, I need to decide whether I want to sell these this year to free up the money to buy something else or whether perhaps I'd like to uh, just sort of um, hang on to them now now that I know they're probably going to be retired at the end of the year so that's for me to decide so a really nice set to start off with uh, second Second on the list is set 21327 and that's the typewriter. Uh, this is a set that was released in July of 2021. So uh, we've got around about three and a half year shelf life for this one once it retires. Uh, 2,079 pieces, so another very large set. Same price as the Treehouse, 214.99 in the UK and 249.99 in US dollars and in Euros. Uh, so a big set again. Um, what I like about this set is, is you can actually use it. So you can sort of put the um, put, put the uh, keys down and it will sort of sort of um, work like a typewriter it doesn't obviously completely work like a typewriter you can't actually type with it very very nice uh, printed uh, pieces for the um, for the finger buttons on the typewriter as well uh, no minifigures or anything like that with this particular set whether this one will do well after retirement I don't know for me it's quite an expensive set it looks a great build I haven't built this set um, whether I'll be investing heavily in this probably not I may pick up one of these, I really don't know. If I can get this maybe at a reduced price, I would probably be looking at getting something like uh, the typewriter and or the, uh, the treehouse. I would be looking at reduced prices for both of those sets. But they are both quite expensive sets to start with. 
uh, and they're quite large as well, quite large to store and things like that. So I think if you're buying these to build, definitely now is a good time to start thinking about picking up these sets for investment. Maybe not so sure. I think out of the two large sets, I'd be more tempted to maybe get some more of the um, the treehouse rather than the typewriter. I think if you're spending that amount of money, I think the, the treehouse has probably got more legs in it as such. Uh, so the next on the list is 21329. That's the Fender Stratocaster. I hope I've pronounced that right. Uh, it's the guitars basically. Uh, set number uh, 21329. It's got 1,074 pieces and it was released in October of 21. Uh, so just over three years shelf life on this one. Fairly average for a set of this size. Uh, recommended retail price is £104.99 in the UK and it's £119.99 in U US dollars and in euros. Um, nice set this. I have seen this set reduced on things like Amazon. Uh, again I think this set was very very early on last year it was on the retirement list and that came off the retirement list quite early on sort of February March time. Um, it's probably got more chance to retire this year I don't find it's a set that people talk about an awful lot. Again it looks like a nice build it isn't anything that I've actually bought or built, uh, but it does look quite a nice build. Uh, just people just aren't really talking about it. There's no many figures or anything with it, so uh, maybe not one of the better sets to go for. Again, if you can get it reduced, probably worth uh, worth buying this because it is it is quite a nice looking set. I certainly wouldn't want to pay full price for this. Um, so whether I would get this one, I don't. Again, maybe pick up one um, if it was reduced, maybe two if it was reduced heavily. But uh, again, this is probably isn't probably on my radar. Nice set but nothing too special about it in my opinion. I'm not particularly into guitars. If you're into guitars it might be more your thing. Next on the list is 21331 and that's the Sonic the Hedgehog, the Green Hill Zone. Uh, this set was released in January of 2022 so this will be uh, three years uh, shelf life for this one once it retires. 1,025 pieces so quite a lot of pieces. I actually do have the set as well which is just behind me uh, on my shelf there. Really nice little set. Lots of small pieces though which is why the piece count is reasonably high. 69.99 is the recommended retail price here in the UK. It's also got a recommended retail price of 69 99 in euros and 79.99 in US dollars. Um, I like this set. Uh, now the only thing with this set, which probably is the negative, is that they have obviously since they released this set produced a whole wave of Sonic the Hedgehog sets. So um, they're sort of more play sets, more designed for a younger audience, whereas the idea set is probably uh, more uh, related to sort of an adult audience. But it's a nice display piece. Whether or not they'll re release more. Um, sets and zones. I don't know. I think there was talk when these sets first came out that they uh, Lego would do th the different zones. Obviously the Green Hill zone from the original Sonic the Hedgehog uh, video game and there were all the other sort of zones and areas after that. Um, I can't see them doing that anymore now they've released these sort of play, play sets. Um, I still think this has probably got um, this could be a good set to invest in. This is another set that was actually on last year's retirement list and as as, as, as recent as sort of October time it was showing on the Lego website as last chance to buy but obviously they've changed their minds at the last minute uh, and I did buy a few of these sets so I've got a few of these kicking around unfortunately I did get them at a reduced price though I think you can get this from Amazon here in the UK so it's fairly widely available uh, but it is still a nice set I think uh, despite the fact it was has been on lists before and you can get it discounted I still think the collectability of something like this um, it's uh, it, it should do quite well this is probably one of my more favourite or one of my, my sort of um, sets that I'm most keen on from the Lego idea set. Again, it's a set that I've built myself, so I know uh, what, what such a nice set it is. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I think this could do okay once it retires, but certainly wouldn't be looking at paying recommended retail price for this set because uh, that is fairly high. Do look at getting this on a discount if it is a set you are going to buy. Uh, next on the list is 21332, and that's the Globe. Uh, this is a set that was released in February of 2022, so it'll be just just under three years on the shelf for this one once it retires. 2,585 pieces, so quite a big set again. 199.99 in the UK. It's 229.99 in US dollars and in euros in those respective territories. Um, again, not a lot of people talking about this set. It can, uh, it has been reduced uh, reduced at certain retailers quite a few times now. I think even Lego.com even had this reduced at one time. I think this looks okay as a display piece. It's quite a big 
big thing. Uh, it is something that you would need quite a bit of space for. It's quite an expensive price as well. And again, a similar really to the typewriter. It's a nice looking set. It's probably a really nice build, probably a little bit repetitive because you have to sort of build the sections of the globe and stick them all together. So it does look a little bit awkward. Um, and uh, I think for that reason, yeah, I might probably get one of these, but it's not something I'll be wanting to buy a lot of. I think they look okay and the build is okay, but quite expensive and really not talked about an awful lot. So um, I quite like the look of the set, but I just don't think a lot of other people do it. It's not, uh, it's not one that's sort of high on the list of a lot of people to sort of get this set. Um, next on the list, 21334, the Jazz Quartet. Uh, this is a set that was released in July of 2022, so only a two and a half year shelf life on this one. 1,606 pieces, so a reasonable size for this set. £89.99, this is a recommended retail price in the UK. Uh, 99.99 in US dollars and euros. Um, quite a nice looking set this again. Now this is one which comes with actual built figures rather than minifigures. Um, I like the idea of this, it's quite a nice looking thing. Um, again, I don't think it's been that talked about and a lot, a lot of people haven't really been um, sort of wanting to sort of buy this. I don't think it's that popular, but I do think it looks okay. The build looks okay. Again, it's not something I've built myself, but I've had a, a look at reviews and it does, it's quite nice. I think you, you build the four um, figures individually and then you sort of clip them all together, sort of like a modular style. Um, so it is a quite a nice looking thing, but whether this is again going to be something that's popular in the future, I don't know. I think because this has got a slightly lower price point than some of the other larger uh, idea set, this is probably something I'd be more keen to pick up, maybe a couple of, if I can get them at a reduced price. Uh, I certainly won't be looking at full price for this one, because I just don't think it's probably going to be massively popular, but I still think it could do okay. It is something a bit different from Lego, so who knows, but uh, but yeah, I think it's, um, again, it's a set that's not been amazingly popular uh, with people. Again, no minifigures and things like that, so m maybe you'll have to wait and see. I'm very on the fence with a lot of these idea sets. Uh, a lot of them look good builds, but uh, people just aren't talking about about them and I don't think some of them are particularly popular and that, that includes the jazz quartet. Right, next on the list then we've got 21339, the BTS Dynamite. Uh, this is a set that was released in March of 2023, so this is less than two years on the shelves. 749 pieces, so one of the smaller sets, but uh, 89.99 is the recommended retail price. That's the same as the jazz quartet and le less than half the piece count. Um, I certainly think for money, get, getting your money's worth go for the jazz quartet the bts set is very expensive but obviously we have the band members the minifigures in here uh, 99.99 in us dollars and euros in those respective territories um so um yeah again i'm not a bts fan i know a couple of their songs i know the song dynamite uh, when it when obviously this was released from lego last year there's a lot of hype around this and i think if you're a bts fan this is something that you'd want to get Will this lend itself to sort of regular Lego uh, investing and, and Lego sales after this has disappeared off the shelves? I don't know. I, th I know that the members of BTS, a lot of them have had to go into the Korea, South Korean military, so they're sort of taking a hiatus from uh, from pop music. I know a couple of them have released uh, solo material and things like that, um, uh, but uh, whether or not they'll get back together once they're out of the army and and have a, a career after that I really don't know um, uh, I'm not so sure I, I don't know about this I'm really 50 50 on this one part of me saying yes this could be a great thing there's a lot of BTS fans out there BTS fans will want this set once it retires and, and where will they get hold of it the other side of it me is saying uh, I think Lego people probably aren't that interested in this set so if you're into Lego you probably wouldn't buy the BTS set you would only buy the BTS set if you were into BTS. So, um, and I think, uh, I don't know, that maybe the Lego community isn't doesn't lend itself too much to being fans of, of BTS as a thing. So again, a lower price threshold on this one. I'm very, very on the fence. I'm really 50-50. Half me says, buy loads of these, and the other half says, steer well clear. So I really don't know. I really am on the fence with this one. Again, if I could get this at a reduced price, maybe I might buy a couple of them just to be on the safe side, just so I wouldn't regret things too much. But uh, yeah, it's an interesting one. So uh, it'd be interesting to see how that one does actually do once it finally retires. And last on the list is set 21340, Tales of the Space Age. This is a set that was released in May of 2023. So 
So a very short shelf life on this one, around about a year and a half. 688 pieces, recommended retail price is $49.99 here in the UK, uh, $49.99 in US dollars and in euros. Nice set this, this is a set that I have built um, and I do really, really like. It's a really nice display piece. Nothing too spectacular, nothing too special, no minifigures, anything like that. But it just looks really, really good when, I've actually got it on my shelf just over there, I can see it, but uh, it's just sort of out of camera shot at the moment. Um, yeah, I like this set. I've not really seen this discounted in too many places. Um, short shelf life on this one. I think of all of the idea set, this is probably one of the ones that might get extended. Um, so it it might not be an idea to buy this too early on. I think I'll probably wait until at least maybe later on in the year, maybe the summer, to see whether or not this is definitely going to be retiring because it's got a such a short shelf life. If it does retire at the end of this year, I think it could do actually do quite well, even though there's no minifigures or anything like that with it. I think it's unusual. Space Lego does tend to do quite well. Um, I, th I do think the set looks really, really nice. And um, yeah, I, I think it, this could be sort of one to watch for me. But again, I'm just sort of 50-50 on this one as to whether it will retire or not. Um, there were some sets last year that were going to retire and didn't retire. So this could be one of those sets just because it has got such a short shelf life. So we'll have to wait and see whether these sets are going to be retiring. I will continue to do updates as the year goes on as to if, if there are any changes to these particular particular lists and also I will be doing videos on some of the other themes as well for example Star Wars Harry Potter's icons things like that so keep an eye out for those videos in the next week or so but they're my thoughts so far on the retiring sets that are currently on the Brick Fanatics list uh, if you do check out uh, the Brick Fanatics uh, website I'll put a link in the description of this particular video uh, so that you can uh, look at the whole of the lists and all the different sets that are retiring as well there's quite a lot of them so it's going to take me a while to to do a few videos to go through them all but that's where the information comes from so thank you to the people at Brick Fanatics for uh, doing this list which they do on a regular basis it's always much appreciated uh, but that's it for now I hope you enjoyed this video thank you very much for watching until next time take care and I'll see you then bye for now